Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to create a ball bounce animation in Maya. All right. So you can see that there is a simple scene with a background and a ball that is bouncing. And there are certain principles of animation. Uh, if you follow those principles of animation, you will be able to create uh, interesting and uh, realistic looking animations. So there are three principles of animation in this animation. Uh, the first one is squish and stretch. You can see that the ball as it's going down is stretching. When it hits the ground, it is squishing, okay, because of the impact. The other principle of animation that we are looking at is uh, the animation of weights. You can see that the ball is speeding up as it hits the ground, uh, which gives the illusion of weight for the ball. All right. And then the third principle of animation is uh, staging. How do you capture the animation? If I had captured the animation from the top view, I would not see any ball bouncing. The ball would just be squishing and becoming round. Uh, there's one more principle of animation that is exaggeration. So you can see that the ball is squishing and stretching more than what a normal ball would do. And that creates interest in the animation. All right. So let us get started and see how this uh, ball bounce is done. All right. So we are in Maya. We are going to use a polygon sphere. We'll create a sphere. And the sphere is has a radius of 1. So I will move it 1 up. And it will be 1 in Y. Okay. So what we are going to do is in the front view we'll move the ball up and i'll move it seven units up and that is where the ball is going to start so i'll hit the s key on the keyboard at frame number one and the keyframe is created uh, before i create the keyframe what we need to do is we need to assign a modifier so we'll go to deform we'll add a non-linear squish okay and what the non-linear squish will do is if you go to squish there is a factor and you can squish and stretch them okay now the problem is when you move the sphere the deformer doesn't move with it so what we will do is select the deformer first shift select the sphere and hit the p key so when you select the sphere the deformer will move with it okay now that the ball is already in air at seven units i'll hit the s key and this is going to be uh, 24 frames per second so we'll create a one second long animation so at frame number 12 the ball hits the ground which is one so i'll hit the s key again and then i'll go to frame number 24 and hit the 7 key so that the ball is in air again and hit the S key. So this is our basic animation. If you play it, you can see that the ball is bouncing once. And in your case, it might be playing very fast. So if you go to this man running button, here you can see that playback speed is, if it is every frame which is by default, then things move really fast okay so if you go to that and change it to 24 frames per second at the speed of one now rewind it and the ball is now bouncing one time okay so now what we need to do is we need this ball to bounce keep bouncing okay so you can see how the animation looks so to do that we go to animation uh, we don't have to go there, we just have to go to window, animation editor, graph editor. All right, so you can see that there is a sphere and there are certain curves. So, this is the curve for movement of the ball in x axis. So, we have not moved the ball in x. This is the movement of the ball in y axis. That is what we have done. Okay, so now let us take a moment to understand how this curve works. Okay, this curve, so the ball is moving from one place to another so this is the distance of the ball and how it is bouncing is 
when the ball starts moving if this is horizontal that means the speed of the ball is slow okay and as we are going the speed of the ball increases and at this keyframe again the speed of the ball is slowing down so this is another principle of animation which is called slow in and slow out so by default Maya will create all the keys which has slow in and slow out all right so what we need is here the ball is slow up in the air because of gravity but because of gravity as the ball comes down it starts picking up speed and then there is an accident the ball hits the ground and then it bounces back so this has to be fast so this horizontal key has to go and we'll keep on this so the ball is now going slow and then it's speeding up and then again going up so if you click and drag this you can see that if i move one the other one moves also so i'll click on that and there's a button which says break tangent so once the tangents are broken now we can select and move this and then speed it up further as per our liking okay so i'll do the same thing on the other side just speed it up you can try to match those curves so now the ball is slow and then it speeds up and then at the same speed it goes up and bounces back now we are going to create an animation where yeah it's a perpetual animation so the ball keeps bouncing at the same rate generally what would happen is ball will bounce and every single bounce the ball will bounce less and less but we have this one frame animation and this is going to perpetually keep playing that means it, it will bounce at the same height all the time all right so once that is done what we can do is again we can go to window general editor animation editor graph editor we'll select all these and then we'll go to curves post infinity we will say oscillate and then if you play even though there are only keys till 24 this animation will keep playing all the time okay so now you can see the ball feels like it has weight okay now what we need to do is we need to introduce squish and stretch so I now you can see that there are no keys when we select the deformer okay so at frame number one we'll hit the S key at frame number 24 we will hit the S key so there's no squish or stretch when the ball is in the air at 1 and 24 at frame number 12 if you squish this we will make it 0.4 and it is stretching we want it to squish because it hits the ground so we'll make it minus 0.4 okay and then we'll hit the S key for that value but the ball is now in air so what we will do is we'll move the ball down we'll slightly move it below the ground hit the s key so we'll update that key so now you can see that the ball still has the keyframe we'll hit the s key again at 0 and 24 again we'll make it 0 and hit the s key so the ball is down then it squishes and then it goes back to normal all right now when it is squishing you can see that the ball the squishing at the center but generally the ball should squish at the base and that is where this max dependable curve will come into play so you can see that it's going now going to squish more to the bottom okay so i'll animate that as well at 0 0.01 so now you will go to zero you will see that it is at 0 0.5 and it is got down it goes to 0 0.01 okay now what we need is a stretch so the ball will start stretch will stretch at 6 okay so we'll make this 0 0.4 okay and then this will be 0 0.5 in the middle okay so it's stretching at 0 0.4 at 6 and we'll hit the s key the same thing will happen at 18 so this is 
0.5 and s okay, so let us see now what happens now the ball is round it stretches it squishes it stretches again and becomes normal okay now the problem here is the ball should stretch and continue to stretch until it hits the ground so at 11 again this has to be 0.4 has to be 0.5 and hit the S key. All right. So the ball stretches, keeps stretched, then hits the ground, then goes back to 18. But it is taking long time to regain its shape. So at 14, what we will do is we'll make it 0.5 this will make it point true okay and hit s key so it will be less then it becomes here and becomes small okay now if you hit the play button now all the new animations we have created does not have the oscillate option so we'll select all the keys again we'll go to curves post infinity oscillate now if you play okay the ball is squishing and stretching all right now in the next class we will look at how to add materials how to render it and convert it into a movie uh, one more thing i had done what that was at 13 we create copy the same keyframe that was at 12 okay so you shift select the 12 key and actually what we will do is at 13 click on the ground let the s key then the squish and stretch we will make that same so minus point we will make it squish more 0.5 and then this will be all the way to the down hit the s key and then we will move it down s key okay so it squishes stays there for a frame and then moves up we can move this one to 15 okay so let us examine what is happening at frame number one it is in air there is no squash or stretch at frame number six there is a stretch the stretch remains there at frame number 11 frame number 12 it squishes frame number 13 it squishes even more at frame number 15 it stretches to 0.2 at 18 it again becomes 0.4 and then it becomes normal again at zero okay and then we'll select this window general editor animation editor graph editor select all the keyframes curve post infinity oscillate okay rewind it and play it and now the ball is hitting the ground and bouncing back up okay so in the next class we will finish it up